You my dog at the end, don't care what the bitches say. Yo, what's the YouTube? It's your boy Fish back to be with yet another backup channel video, and it's the end of the year for 2K, and I finally can do this. I'm gonna be tier ranking every single 2K that I've ever played all time. So yeah, that's gonna be starting from 2K5 all the way to next gen NBA 2K21. I'm gonna be ranking them in order of what I think. I'm gonna go from the first one I played to the latest one I played. And yeah, I'm gonna be ranking these from five tier from GOAT, extremely fine, good, mediocre, and trash. I feel like those are the perfect tiers for 2Ks. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing really in between of those. So yeah, if you guys want more videos like this, all you gotta do is smash that like button, subscribe. But yeah, man, without further ado, let's hop straight into to it so first game nba 2k5 or espn 2k5 what would i say this is i don't even know i ain't gonna lie i don't even fully remember this uh in comparison to the 2k's now it's not obviously it wasn't nearly as advanced but it had a lot of positives to it i put it in good 2k6 i feel like it was 2k5 but a little bit worse i still put it in good but I feel like it's just a little bit worse so i still would say it's in the same tier 2k7 a lot more forgettable than 2k5 and 2k6 for me for me and this was the year after d way had got a ring so i was really messing with basketball at this point i don't still put that at mediocre 2k8 i didn't even like 2k8 as much as these i didn't like it as much as 2k7 gotta go mediocre on that 2k9 this was when they started to ramp it back up this is when 2k started to ramp it back up 2k9 this would definitely be good i'll probably say it's better than 2k5 and nah i should probably say it's better i'll probably say it's better than 2k6 but not better than 2k5 2k10 this is when 2k started to go on a crazy streak 2k10 is extremely extremely fun they had the dunk contest the three-point contest the dunk contest you could play with friends on yeah this joint was fun this one was stupid fun 2k11 this is probably the most underrated 2k of all time at this point because a lot of people i guess have not played this but yeah man this is going in the goat tier and it's gonna be a couple goat tiers not gonna be too many but it's definitely gonna be a couple goat tiers for sure and i made this tier strictly so i didn't put too many in goat tier because just because a game fun don't make it the best 2k ever you know what i'm saying because there's a lot of things that go into the 2k of being goat tier like 2k11 some of the best gameplay some of the best new features some of the best things 2k ever did it's things in that game that people won't back in the game 2k12 not as good as 2k11 but in this era i would say this is the closest thing so i would say extremely fun 2k13 now i see a lot of people saying 2k13 is a lot is is probably the best 2k ever now when it comes to soundtrack it's up to, i ain't a lot that soundtrack on that game was crazy i think this is the one that was curated by jay-z or whatever this soundtrack was crazy but one thing I say about 2K13 that I remember, this is a, out of all these games I've said so far, there is, this is when 2K was starting to get real, real crazy. Now, there was always the little fade, like, that everybody knew the fade on 2K, but on this game, you literally would not miss any dunk, you wouldn't miss no layups, and you would never get blocked. On 2K12, on 2K12, you would never would miss layups, but you could still get blocked. On 2K13, you literally couldn't get blocked. So... I know a lot of people are gonna be like goat tier that's played this but i'm gonna put it in extremely fun but it's gonna be at the top of extremely fun better than 2k12 i can see people saying that but that one bad thing is the only thing i would say is taking off a goat 2k14 now on current gen this was extremely fun but my experience on next gen was very very bad because they were deleting players i barely got to play the part because they were deleting players i was still in high school so i didn't even get to like buy like my players i kept getting them back to an 81 every time the time i got them to a certain point that the player got deleted and if you remember after christmas it took the game like a month to actually be playable online so not only was i getting players deleted but i couldn't even use them online so yeah this 2k14 next gen was a very very mediocre experience but current gen they actually brought back the crew from 2k11 but it wasn't the full thing of crew but it was extremely fun so i don't really know where to put this if i was saying the current gen version i would say it's extremely fun if i'm saying the next gen it would be mediocre i'm gonna just go in the middle of both and put good i'd probably say out of all these it would be best then 2k15 now if this is based off my opinion if this is based on my opinion, this is the most fun I ever had on 2K. This is the best 2K I ever played. But 
if I'm gonna have 2K13 extremely fun because of the blocking, 2K15 probably had the most broken thing ever when it came to the demigods. So yeah, I ain't gonna lie, 2K, 2K15 gotta be an extremely fun. And by the way, I didn't mention in 2K14, next gen obviously brought a lot of crazy things. Actually nah, that gotta go extremely fun. Now that I'm thinking about it, that brought a lot of stuff. It brought park. How influential it is, it brought Park, the, the cutscenes in my career. That this was when like the cutscenes in my career was almost at its peak. Like that first year to 2K16 to 2K17, those years of the my career cutscenes was actually people actually liked playing my career then. Since then it's not been as fun because it's kind of just dried out. But yeah, this was yeah, I had to put that in extremely fun because my career was fun back then. Not a uh, 2K14 was a little rough with the uh, voice acting, but it still like we didn't really even had nothing like that before, so that was crazy. But yeah, that had to be extremely fun. I would say 2K15. I might need to do a tier above 2 extremely fun, bro, because 2K15 is crazy. But I don't know if it's a perfect 2K like 2K11. I'm gonna just keep it extremely fun for now. 2K16. If I'm saying a 2K that's the best ever. It has to be 2K16. Now, it was a lot of patches that people was upset about, but from the parks, I don't even think the parks are better than 2K15, but like, I would say the gameplay, the fun factor in it was j is not as good as 15, but it's right there, it's right there. Um, the gameplay, how, the features, the my team, all type of stuff on 2K15 was crazy. So yeah, I would have to say 2K16 is GOAT. The only game I would say is debatable debatable with 2k11 is that game only game 2k17 2k17 over the past couple years have become extremely overrated people that played it they know like the people that played it and it wasn't their first 2k they know the drop off from 2k16 to 2k17 there was nothing but complaints the entire year people begging for something new begging for 2k to patch the game begging for this begging for that now i will say the before the first the before the very first patch of 2k17 it would go in extremely fun before the very first patch when they patched ankle breakers they patched ankle breakers shooting not shooting but sharpshooters all that it would be an extremely fun but if i'm being honest and talking about the entire year i would say it's at the top of mediocre now a lot of people would be like it gotta at least be good but this is my opinion i had a lot of fun on it but at the same time, you play anything with friends, you're gonna have fun on it. Um, and if, if a lot of things on it was worse than 2K16. They tried to copy the 2K16 parts. They didn't even bring the best part from 2K16 to 17. It's a lot of bad things on 2K17 that a lot of people just really don't remember. They had a lot of glitches that, like if you brought the court, ball of the court, literally somebody would bump you and it would just take you straight out of bounds. You would get a charge for it or you would get a foul. It was so bad. The gameplay on 17 was so bad. People just like to forget all the negatives of 2K17. The Bills was cool, you know what I'm saying? The Bills, this is when they like took i guess it was innovative for like the archetypes because it did bring in archetypes but the bad just outweighs the good for me on 2k17 and if this is your favorite to your first 2k it's understandable why you think it is what it is it's just that simple 2k18 trash i don't even need to go too much in detail on that dribbling is pretty much the only thing that was good on it the shooting was awful you could green anything on that game you could green a smother, 100% smother. People could play perfect defense and you could green that. I guess they wanted everybody to be KD. It just wasn't it. They did introduce dual archetypes, but it wasn't even the best version of itself. So, no. 2K18, the neighborhood. It's the reason why that neighborhood never got copied and pasted. That was literally unusable again. It was, it was unusable. It was a great idea, just unusable. I remember the hype around it. Crazy, but yeah. I'm gonna actually put 2K17 in good because of the micro story. Micro story on 2K17 was cool, especially now that after Kobe and all that. But yeah, I'm not gonna go too crazy on it. 2K19, 2K19, I would say it's. 2K19 is hard. Because it's not in the same tier as 2K15. I might have to make another tier, bro. It's extremely fun. 2K19, I would say, is extremely fun from the Bills. This might have been the peak of like limiting build the build system from limiting builds i did a poll on my main channel asking y'all what y'all think was the best build system and this the 2k18 and 2k19 build system actually came in second but yeah 2k19 definitely extremely 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 fun that's what i would say to extremely fun i wouldn't say 
it's the best build system by no means but yeah 2k19 play sharps lock stretches you could be a variety of builds on this game you'll be really good really fun the gameplay was good the defense was good the shooting was good um they patched it a couple times trying to mess it up like the they patched it a couple times trying to mess up the uh defense patched it a couple times to mess up the shooting but all in all the game i ain't gonna lie it was a really good game it was a really good game um 2k20 another overrated 2k i don't think it's as overrated as 17 I, I might actually bring 17 back down to mediocre i'll put it at the front of 17 because there was a lot of positive in 17 from my career um but there was a lot of negatives on 17 i'm gonna just say that but this was when they introduced grand badges so i will say that's a positive i wouldn't say it's known by no means trash but it can't be any higher than mediocre for me for me 2k20 this one is hard this one is hard because the first patch at a, a lot of the time on 2k i will say this a lot of the time on 2k 2k the first patch i ain't gonna lie the first patch before they ever patch anything the gameplay is literally the peak of the gameplay is gonna be the whole year for the whole year except for games like 2k19 2k19 they had to patch that 2k18 they had to patch that a lot of these games they had to patch like 2k16 though they had to patch that um but 2k15 that I don't, I don't remember that needing no really crazy patches like 17 19 and stuff like that but 17 had some glitches it need patches but like in the gameplay i feel like that was the best gameplay they had the whole year by far they patched that to the ground the gameplay for me when it came to 18 19 you know what i'm saying they had a lot of glitches some things they had to fix on the gameplay but 20 20 if you remember off rip on 20 there was screenshots like crazy of people not being able to shoot at all i bro if you ask anybody 2k20 is one of the easiest games to shoot on because they patched it and they kind of ruined that aspect of it but it also made people to use a lot of different variety of builds but when it comes to the gameplay on 20 the gameplay is bad 2k17 the gameplay was awful because of a step down from 16, but they actually went a step down from 17 to 18. They took a huge step up from 18 to 19, then took another huge step down on 20 with the gameplay. So yeah, they did mess up on the gameplay, but there was a variety of builds you could use. They did have a really, they introduced a really good build system. The part was copy and pasted just like 2K16. It was a step down from 19, but it wasn't as big of a step down from 16 to 17. I would say, I would say 2K20 and 2K17, those are in the same tier. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna bring that up to good. I think I'm really bringing 17 down because of how much of a step down it was from 16. But I think 2K20 and 2K17 are in the same tier, personally. But yeah, I'm gonna just leave this for right here for now. 2K21, current gen. 2K21 current gen is another game that got patched to the ground in my opinion when it came to gameplay simply because of the speed glitch uh the speed glitch they tried to patch it they actually actually only patched speed boosting that was a critical a critical thing off rip the shooting was really hard so they patched it and made it easier now i wouldn't say they did as big of a patch to shooting as they did on 20 where like a like 60 three point sixty three pointer ratings are able to shoot now no i wouldn't say anything close to that happened but yeah 2k 21 definitely uh current gen i would say i would say 2k 21 current gen is mediocre uh i would say competitive wise 2k 21 i would say it's it's up there on the 2k skill gap wise because i ain't gonna lie i've played some of the weakest people i've ever played against on 2k 21 when it comes to how bad people are for that per particular game i would say 2k21 is peak it's, it's almost probably the peak 2k of how bad you'll probably consistently play bad people i'm not gonna lie to you now i don't know if that's because it's more new people than ever i don't know if that's because it's more than ever people playing it but yeah you're gonna play some pretty bad people it don't matter what rep they they are they're they're gonna be bad it's that simple so yeah 2k21 copied the um the if you if you didn't notice the build system on 2k21 is better than 2k20 but the gameplay does not allow the builds to use that so you could say easier shooting makes better gameplay i would say a lot of different things now one thing i would say about 2k21 the dribbling on 2k21 is better than 2k20 it is now the speed glitch it before before they patched the speed boosting and the speed glitch wasn't really as popular this dribbling was up there it was like a tier below low games like 19 17 and 18 i say 17 and 8, 19 is probably the top then i would say 16 then i would say 18 
Then I would say 2K21. I'd probably say 2K15 and 2K16 probably in the same tier dribbling. Then 18. Then I would probably say 2K21 current gen before they patched the speed boost is right there. 2K21 current gen had an actually really good dribbling system and it was really realistic, but it's also really good. That was the first time I've seen 2K go for a realistic dribbling and it actually worked. Then they patched the speed boosting. The speed glitch never got patched and it is what it is now. And it might be arguably the worst dribbling system we ever had. 2K21 next gen probably is the worst dribbling system we ever had but i'm gonna get into that more later but yeah the builds on 2k21 you really can't use that well you can but you really not gonna go against that many builds um i wouldn't say builds are nearly as viable as they were on 2k20 as they were on 2k19 as they were on 2k18 as they were on 2k16 it's just that simple but there's a lot of negatives on 2k21 but i don't think the gameplay i wouldn't say the gameplay is as bad as people say it is it's just a very very boring game so i have to put it in mediocre 2k21 next gen now 2k21 next gen is a hundred percent an overhated game now i can't put it in extremely fun because i'm not gonna lie i didn't really have the craziest amount of fun on it because people don't have next gen so the people i play with they don't have next gen so i was really playing with randoms people i really didn't even know or really don't play with like that so it really wasn't that fun for me but when it came to the build system it's probably the best build system we ever had they just gotta patch a couple things like they usually would have done what they didn't do um there's a lot of different things so i got high hopes for 22 next gen but yeah uh I would say 21 next gen is definitely better than this game. It's just a turn of is it better than 17 and 20? I would say is it better than 17? I say it's on the same tier of these two games. Cause I don't even know how to really explain it. The takeover system was crazy. The build system was crazy. The only thing that's hold 21 back, just like these two games, is the gameplay. You can really shoot on any build on this game. So it's kind of similar to that, this game. The dribbling system is awful. So it's kind of similar to this game. So yeah, I would actually say the gameplay on 17 I don't know, bro, because the dribbler system, the dribbling system on 17 is up there with 19 as the best dribbling system we've ever had. So I don't really know how to even compare 17 because there's so many terrible things on 17, but it's so many good things. And I had a lot of fun with it. So I'm starting to roll keep think I should raise this up a little bit more. I'm gonna keep it right there for now because I remember so many negatives, but I also remember a lot of positives, but the negatives outweighing the positives, obviously, if I'm only thinking of the negatives first. But next gen, I'm trying to think where I want to put this. I'm going to just put it in good. It's a lot of positives, a lot of negatives. But um, at the beginning, people are talking, people say that it's like a very bad game because of the frame. I will say it took them two weeks to fix the frame rate. I guess because they didn't really know what it was. It was a brand new system, a brand new console, a lot of different things. But what I say is after they fixed that, I would say the rewards is what got old, but the legend reward was not that good also. It was kind of copy and paste rewards again, which they need to do, fix that for sure. The city is very big, so it was really hard to get games, but I feel like if 21 was able to get games, it would be on par with 19. I don't think it would be on 15. I don't think it would be on 16, 11, but it, it could be, it could have been on par with 19 for sure. I'm gonna low key lower this, because I don't think 14 is on the same level as this. I don't think it's on the same level as that. I don't think 19 is on the same level as that. But I don't think this is on the same level as these. Might be. So I don't know. I don't, maybe I just don't remember. Maybe it's recency buys. I don't know. But yeah, 21 next gen. I would say it's definitely underrated. This is overrated. This is overrated. This is overrated. This this is underrated. This is probably properly rated. This is a little bit underrated. I don't know about that one yet. But yeah, that's pretty much my tier list in order. Go. 2K11, 2K16, extremely fun. 2K15, 13, 12, 10, and 19. I, I look, he was putting these in order. I'd probably say this is the best 2K of all time. Let me put these in order. That's probably the order I would go for that. Then when it comes to these, I'd probably say, I'd probably say all three of these is a tie. I probably still put these over these probably recency buys but i just obviously i'm gonna remember things from these games more and i would say 2k6 is less worse than that and this is better than that and then when it comes to these i'll probably say 21 is better than all these because the recency buys because i remember it the most and i only have one game in trash from 2k i feel like this is the only actual trash game from 2k when according to 
when you comparing 2K games, I would probably say, well, in the moment, you probably say a lot of these games are bad, but if you compare 2K to like all these other basketball games, 2K is definitely far ahead. They need to stop copying and pasting and try to innovate a little bit more, but I ain't gonna lie. All in all, I say 2K is a pretty good game. It's definitely going down the drain right now. It's definitely getting worse and worse. But if they come right with 2K22, I think they can revitalize a lot of people that's always played the game and make them enjoy the game. But yeah, that's my tier list. Pretty much, if you guys think anything is wrong, uh, you can go on my joint and just do my tier list. It's that simple. But yeah, um, what do you guys think is the best 2K of all time? Put that in the comments down below. Like the video, share this video, sh drop a sub. It's that simple. But yeah, man, it's your boy Fitz, man. And I'm out to be, man. Tell him to bring me my money. Yeah! Roll, roll, roll